It's All time. Right. Blinka, 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 Blinka. What's new? Yeah, we got... I'm wearing my CircuitPython shirt, so I'm... You are. I'm in style. That is the rule. That's the dress code here. Yes. Um, so this week in the newsletter, we got a bunch of stuff going on, so I guess I got to... So yeah, I got to remind uh, myself and others, go to adafruitdaily.com and just hit the button that says Python and microcontrollers, and remember, we don't spam. This is not connected to your Adafruit store account. We purposely did that so we could prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that we will never do anything like harvest your email, remarket it, do anything. So it's there. Unsubscribe anytime or subscribe because you know we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with you. So this week, uh, there's a bunch of events going on. So the RISC-5 Summit is happening. This is uh, PyCon US 2020. The planning is starting. Check out the PyCon blog. Um, there is a giant amount of keyboards that are coming out. Since we do uh, HID stuff with CircuitPython, it seems to be the choice. If we're doing a keyboard that has an RP2040 This in is it, a really cute keyboard. Yeah, this is nice. Um, and then- I'm glad uh, we added that low level keypad support. Yes. Uh, boot sequence chart for CircuitPython 7. Um, there's Hacktoberfest, there's the um, Halloween Hackfest. It is still open yeah. hardware month. Um, I thought this was neat. Someone oh, uh, built a little a IoT um, flower pot, used the CircuitPython. Um, a little reminder for Scott and JP. Um, we interviewed Simon Monk, did a programming Pico. There's a chapter on CircuitPython, and there's also a bunch of MicroPython. We'll have Simon on the show and tell next week. And then there's just an He's unending amount of stuff. And then I thought this was kind of neat. This is, uh, you know, it's basically like our Feather RP2040. Um, but these folks have one, and uh, I like I like what I'm seeing. Uh, in the more in, feathers. In, well, it's a feather, and you know now it's all it's about STEM like, does, does yeah. it run Circuit Python? Yes. Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, so check out all this stuff and more. And then this week I have one video, and this is the camera stuff that you're working on. So mm. I'm play that. Okay. Lady, what is this? Okay, I've been playing around with lots of camera modules to get camera vision data in CircuitPython into uh, like an ESP32 S2. And this camera is kind of neat. Inside it actually has a voice coil so it can do autofocus. I've loaded in the autofocus firmware and you can even see, uh, here's the little camera and I'm powering it from three volts. You can see it's like trying to do the autofocus mode. So if I put something in front of it, it can actually do macro shots. And if I put this away, it'll focus on us. So, um, so far, so good. It's kind of neat. You can even hear a little clicking sound when it does the autofocusing. Um, the voice coil actually, like, literally moves the lens back and forth. This is what happens in your smart cam. But now it works in CircuitPython. So that's great. Um, I'm going to write this up and release a driver for this OV5640 camera with voice coil. And that is this week's Python on hardware.